Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today's episode, we are going to talk about the different types of routing strategies that are available to build our Angular application. Why are they useful? What are the default ones? What considerations you should do before beginning or rather I would say designing, architecting your application. We'll learn how to customize the default uh, routing strategy. We'll also learn how to customize that option and how to change it. Let's get started. This is part 38 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials in this particular series, including a live project. Uh, the notes that I make in every episode along with the code, uh, it's updated to GitHub link. So make sure you check it out, which is in the description box below. Also, in the previously, I've covered all these topics that you see on your screen right now, which in are covered in detail along with notes. Uh, make sure you check it out so that you can learn and master Angular 10 with me. If you have any doubt on any of these topics that I've covered, please make sure you drop your comments. I'll be ha happy to help you. So far, we have covered 37 episodes. Today is the 38th episode. Today, we'll talk about routing strategy. So what is routing strategy, right? So before we start any application, right, we need to kind of have an idea about how our URLs will look, how the data will pass, how will the rendering look like. And they are important in terms because that will also design how data is communicated, right? Let me give you some example with starting with some notes because this absolutely is critical before you build any application. Not so let's uh, get started. Today is episode number 38. Today we are talking about routing strategy, right? Number one, uh, what is routing strategy? It's the routing behavior of, your, of the application's URLs, right? How they will look and how they will be look like, how they will behave, right? So Angular provides two types of routing strategies. two types of routing strategies. The first one is called path location strategy, right? It's called path location strategy. The second is called hash location strategy, right? They are absolutely important uh, to understand each one, how it would look. So what I'm going to do, let me first make some notes right under them so you can differentiate clearly between both. So what is path location? That's the default routing strategy for Angular apps, right? It's the default HTML5 push state URL behavior, right? So how does the URLs look like? Examples, let me show you. So, like, so examples will look like, let's say you have a website which is my application. So myapp.com slash now let's say you'll say dashboard then you would say http myapp.com slash user slash 10 right so what you're doing here is you're passing a value id of the user to retrieve right the you can also do some more deep linking and you can say http myapp.com slash user slash 10 slash photos you can have something like http myapp.com slash search question mark query equal to abc and state equal to karnataka and city equal to bengaluru right so you see this is how your urls will look like when you are using path location strategy now i will write the same urls in hash location using hash location strategy. So how will it look like? So you will have a hash sign here. Okay. See this? So you will have hash. So what's the difference? These are called URL segments, right? URL segments. Uh, some places you may also see them as URL patterns, right? Basically, this is a single file, which will, this is the URL segment or the URL pattern after the hash, right? So URLs will have 
hash in the URLs right both look similar uh, similar right and familiar to uh, only difference being that how the hash is rendered right so now a lot of times people will ask me why do we need two right why do we need two different uh, types of routing right why can't we just have one right uh, I'll cover this question in just a bit but before that I will show you the application and I will show you the behavior of uh, both of these and how to change them and then we will come back to this question right so what I'm going to do I'm going to remove this here and third I will say um, hands-on example examples for path location strategy first then we will do hands-on examples for hash location strategy okay then we will come back to this question of why we need two different varieties um, and which one you should use when okay let's get started with hands-on examples so like I said this is the default behavior right uh, of angular applications default behavior of angular apps so whatever you see so I started the application now I'll go to my um, so here if you see we are doing slash loans see it is slash loans which means this is simple path right if you do slash add you don't have any because we have loan slash add so you see these are just normal looking URLs which is what is called as path location strategy okay so there is nothing dif different than what you have seen so far right so if you don't want to change anything you don't want to update that's totally fine it will still work right now let's look into hash location then you will be able to better understand the comparison right so what you will do you will go to the app module.ts right we need to import hash location strategy from angular slash core right add it to providers array okay let's do that right now so you see the providers is empty so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to import location strategy that's what we have to import that has both uh, the location uh, the path location and the hash location so I imported location strategy go to providers and here it's an array object right so the best way to write is like this okay so here you will write provide what location strategy then you will say use class hash location strategy okay so uh, we imported hash location and location strategy and in the providers we are saying provide location strategy use class hash location strategy so now all over right once we have done it angular will start loading our URLs using hash right so let's see that in action so now you see it is already showing hash now let you will say loans now loan works right now similarly you'll say slash add now they look similar right I mean obviously uh, a lot of you are confused as to why we need hash right so now I'll address that question for you so I hope you understand both now path location and hat, uh, hash location so path location and hash are two different routing strategies that are available with details right so now let me come to the important question as to why do we need two routing strategies right so sometimes if you see angular is a single page application right single page app right so now what it means is that basically you just have one file right index.html and that is what will be processed using router outlet and matching routes using routing module now what happens if you are when you are deploying to some cloud um, vendors like AWS GCP Azure right so what happens these vendors or any uh, any hosting provider I would say 
any hosting provider like say Bluehost, uh, SiteGround, etc., etc., DigitalOcean, right? So it can be anything that you can think of. Uh, all or most of them would behave similarly. Okay, what happens is uh, they will treat something like folder, right? Physical folders, like for example, when you put something like loan slash add, they would think this is a folder, right? But for us, it is a route, right? This is not equal to <laughs> folder, right? It's a file. It's a basically route, right? It's a route. So what we need to do, we need to make them understand that it's a route. So what happens when you put hash? in front of it they will know that there is only one file which is index.html hash slash slash loan slash add so that way they will be able to render that properly right so this is why we need sometimes hash urls sometimes you can put that to error 404 and still work with index.html and say routing should be slash loans slash add without hash Right. Uh, so these are different implementations, especially when you want to have it, uh, the data being communicated. Right. Um, see, again, this is all um, how your application should look like and how it will behave at the end of them. Which one should you use? Right. Now, there is no difference. OK, really, there is no um, there is no um, difference in a way that will be that will affect your um, application right so if somebody tells you this is better than other it's not the case you can use both I have seen uh, really it doesn't matter I've seen really really large enterprise applications using both hash and without uh, path and hash uh, strategies and there is really no difference right like I said uh, while deployments um, you will see some uh, issues in terms of how they are allowing the hash to be there sometimes it will recognize slash loans URL as a file or a folder rather than a route right so those are the deployment issues I have seen with respect to routing but other than that there is no difference so I would say I always encourage right not only me I've seen a lot of applications they encourage you to use simple um, path location strategy that's simple straightforward that's how we have known web applications to be they are called clean URLs right because they are more readable they are simple and they are bookmarkable, right? Simple and bookmarkable. Easy to remember, right? Um, so your users, if they have to remember something, they easy to remember, right? So these are various reasons why I would prefer and encourage path location. But again, hash location, you just have to add a hash in front of it. There is not much of a difference. All right, uh, that being said, so that covers our routing strategy. This is all the notes which I just created there. Um, I wrote again, uh, but this is for your reference. Um, so import location strategy from Angular, then add it to the providers list. You have two types, path and hash. By default, Angular makes use of path location. With hash location, you will see the hash in the URL. Like I said, default HTML5 push state um, strategy various examples I showed you similarly with hash you will have URL segments this is what it looks like right it's similar right only hash is getting added alrighty that's about it for today's um, session but in the, if you like my work and tutorials uh, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials in the next episode, we will talk about and learn about base HREF. Why is it important? Why is it critical that you have it and other things related to it? So join me in the next episode. We'll learn about base HREF. Thank you so much for joining. This is Art Tutorials.